basketball. And the tap is won by Vernon Carey Jr. and the Duke Blue Devils. This is Harris. Three-point shot, Como. And it's cleared by Carey. Nice outlet to Jones. Results in a corner three. Cassius Stanley. Three turnovers in two and a half minutes. Bounce pass inside. Easy bucket. Nathan Bain. One shot in three minutes. Four turnovers in three minutes. It's hard to shoot the ball if you're throwing it to the guys in the other shirts. They're now two for two. Vernon Carey Jr. Nine to five. Duke leading Stephen F. Austin. A lot of dribbling for Harris. Up and in. Having it to score. He's not looking to pass it. From the corner. O'Connell to misfire. Strong rebound up and through for Jack White. And a turnover. Bad pass by DeLorean. Boy, just continued very sloppy on offense for the Blue Devils. Wendell Moore back into the game and a steal of the inbound. Score it. Wendell Moore. Chance for a three-point play. The defense. This is just a really nice play by Jack White. Steps right in front of Nathan Bain and then Moore. An acrobatic move on the inside. Well, now this this young man thus far in this season to shoot free throws, but that's some strength to get the ball up on the board. Battle for it. It goes in. Give the basket to Cameron Johnson on the tip. Not elite at the free throw line. 68% as a club through six games. Jones off the window. Feathery. Bain bothered by White. Johnson. Snuffed. Deloria got it. And the guys to whom you're passing the ball have to step to the ball. Jordan Goldwire into the game for the first time for Duke. Off the window and in. Johnson again. Shot clock down to six. First time we've mentioned shot clock here in the first half. More. What a pass. Great pass. A beauty. Goldwire. More. Some How nifty dribbling. Finds Carey. They, they just spurred at you. You know, you're, you're in the game with them, and then all of a sudden they hit you with a 10-0 run, and you're wondering what happened. Kensmill got behind the defense. Kerry lost track of it. Jones, Kerry, soft left-handed touch. Stephen F. Austin, as a university, has produced an NFL MVP. Dan Bonner, you should know this. Not too far away from where you live. The Washington Redskins, Mark Mosley. <laughs> Harris has now got six of the 17 points for the Lumberjacks. He's been as advertised. Lumberjacks down 10, almost halfway through our first half. And Ware had his pocket pick. Hurt the other way. One man to beat, and he beats him. Well, he took his time because Cassius Stanley was there. That gave Carey time to catch up. Great team defense by Duke. Jones, Stanley, Carey, Goldwire, and Hurt. This is Matthew Hurt. Maybe that fast break play have got him going. For Duke to find that mismatch. Kind of hurts your heart talking about that matchup. Inside. Hurt blocked from behind by Goldwire. Duke may set the school record for blocked shots tonight. Harris ran into a wall and still scored. Well, he Challenge just... Stanley. Average is 19.4. And now Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? Harris is 6'6", 216 pounds. Something you rarely see. Kayvon Harris just told his coach, can I come up for just a second? And he his coach's answer is no. You can't commit a foul to get him out because Duke's in the one and one Hurt behind the defense. Matthew Hurt talk about his three-point shooting and he's a very good three-point shooter but remember he's six feet nine he can play inside how about that john como the senior from beaumont texas lumberjacks have 12 field goals harris has six of them and cameron johnson is another guy who can attack off the dribble that's a beautiful attack right there
Are they going to score the goal? Yes. Wow. Duke all year long, they play a lot of guys. Stanley. I think the ball fell out of his hands and then was hammered back at him. Duke leads by 10. John Como looking for help finds Harris. Kevon Harris into a thicket of Blue Devil defenders and still oh, it gets is, it to It ball. is amazing. <laughs> He's been a real good player for four years for the Lumberjacks. Vernon Carey back in. And scoring on top. Here comes Harris. Kevon Harris somehow going 100 miles an hour scores the goal. It's been four full minutes since Duke last scored from the field. Jones. That's a three-pointer. Much needed. Don't tell me how many. Tell me when. Harris on the post up. Spins on the freshman Moore and scores on top of Carey. By the end of the night. Oh, almost to steal. Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? With two hands. Oh, the crowd is absolutely stunned. Now where? Forcing the issue. Daniels the post up against the smaller man. Open look. Hart inside. Como stays in the game playing with three fouls. Hounded by Jones. Inside. Ken's Mill. One possession game. Even if Austin is doing a nice job defensively, making it difficult. Wow! Cassius Stanley! Highlight of the night so far for Duke. They do not have their leading scorer, Harris, on the floor right now. Where's the offense going to come from? Maybe from Gavin Kensville. Picked up by Hart. Johnson. Offensive rebound, Lumberjacks, and it is Moore. Hurt. Out in front. Should be a bucket. Cam Johnson. That's Three couple, and ten attempts. That's a couple of runouts we've seen now for Stephen F. Austin. Hurt. And Another again, run out. Lumberjacks have a man ahead of the pack. And it is Cackle Reese. Dangerous pass almost stolen away. Johnson hangs and hits. Cameron Johnson makes it a two-point game. Able to score despite pressure. O'Connell off the window. Inside missed opportunity again. Should have been two for Daniels. He's looking for a screen. Dump down. Ken's Mill. That's a great, great pass. Everybody was sort of standing there watching. Ken's Mill, that's great position inside. Perfect pass. Jones left alone. Wrong man. He makes them when they count. Dumped down again. Kinsmill. Bain. Good catch. Nathan Bain. Ware bounces it. Kinsmill. Bain behind the defense. This time rips it down. Maybe they're going to press on Hart the fact that he cannot pick up his fourth foul. Ripped away by Harris. Oh, what a pass. Last loss to a non-conference team here at Cameron in 2000. That was St. John's. Stanley up and through. Well, Hurt is 6'9". He's got long arms. That was a tough, tough shot. White had his pocket picked. Numbers. Two on one for the Lumberjacks. Cackle Reese up and in. So he didn't pick up the charge and then make the dump off pass to Cackle Amazing how many times we've seen Stephen F. Austin on the break against Duke. Up and through, Matthew hurt the splash. Hensmill's back in the game as well as Bain for Stephen F. Austin. Playing with four fouls. Carey, they immediately go to the big man and he reaps benefits. Offensive rebound, stuck back by Kensmill. Now Carey sets the screen roll.
rolls to the basket. Jones doesn't find him. Instead, it's Moore. Wendell Moore. Harris. Little push off. Nothing called. Drops it through. Tie ball game. Bain. Oh, what a shot. Nathan Bain. Shot of the night. Carey. Score it and a foul. Draws a crowd. Trey Jones did. 60 seconds remain. Carey, score the goal. Harris feeds it. Kinsville, yes! And we're tied at 81. And that has been a bugaboo for them as well. Oh, that's down. a great pass. Kinsville blocked from behind. They've only made, what, two three-point baskets, Stephen F. Austin? They've got 60 points in the paint. Make it 62! Basket by Johnson! Shot clock's at one! Carry up and throw! Tenacious! Loose! Kensville's got it! They've got a timeout, they don't use it! Bain! Yeah! But this is Bain. He's looking up at the clock. Is the ball out of his hand when that clock goes to zero? Oh, my goodness, yes. it is. Nathan Bain.